Hey, what's up, fellas? Just back from the GECU, and I believe that is the General Employees Credit Union. Just beautiful blue sky, a little windy, uh, not too crazy. The flags, I got some new flags hanging out. Um, had a minor dust up at the uh, uh, credit union. I went to go get some cash in, and evidently... Um, Somehow or another, by me walking into the bank and walking to take a ticket to get in line, I offended an African-American female who's about five foot tall, weighs about 270 pounds, fat head. You know the, the forehead higher than mine and goes back to where ears start here. And she was like, who the fuck do you think you are? And I was like... And I'm not paying any attention to her. I'm standing there like that. And she goes, you heard what I said, cracker. And I was like, what? So I turned around. I looked over my shoulder. Uh, let me set this down because I, I need to be animated about this. And she goes, you heard what I said, cracker. And I was like, now listen to me. Here, Here is my preface before I get into this. My first wife is African-American, Caribbean, Jamaican, and all that kind of stuff. My two sons are mixed. Uh, my wife now is Mexican and Apache, so I don't fucking play that shit. You talk shit to me, I'm going to talk shit to you. And I turned around and I was like, look at you, Butterball, with your big ass forehead. And she was like, ooh. You racist motherfucker. And I was like, shut the fuck up, fat ass. Why are you fucking trying to start a fight with me? There's no sandwiches in here. There's no, I don't have any food to give you. Get the fuck out of here. And she was like, oh. I said, look, I'm going to just go withdraw $400. Why don't you sit your fat ass down and leave me alone? I'm not bothering you. She's like, look, and she's like, got the... And I, I, I didn't know, but I think things have changed for me. She had these uh, raptor claws on. And she kept doing this. You don't know me. <laughs> and I was like, I don't have to know you. You're fat and out of shape. Sit down and shut the fuck up. And, and she just, her eyes were, I, I, I don't think. <sighs> Listen, I have everything I want. I don't give a fuck if you cancel me. You can, um. Uh, stamp my ID card, uh, my ID card and my driver's license and my license to carry, no dessert. You can tell me that I can only have uh, a salad. I can't have anything. I don't fucking care about that shit. I, and you know what, ladies? Sometimes you're going to say something and you you think, I just think there's too many women out there that believe that they can say whatever the fuck they want to somebody. I'm not a nice fucking guy. Listen, guys, um, uh, I'm not a nice guy. I don't want you to misunderstand me. There's only a certain amount of shit I'm going to put up with anybody, and then we're going to bing, 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 bing. And especially some little five-foot-tall, 240-pound, Fat ass, stupid, Jesus Christ. She looked like Jabba the Hutt. If you could picture Jabba the Hutt with fake hair, like a wig on, fake hair, uh, the eyebrows, the super eyelashes, the super makeup, and the, I don't know, I, I, I don't know why that is, I don't know how that's supposed to mean something to me. Got in line. She's still carrying on. And then when I ignored her and walked over to the teller, and I'm talking to the teller, was a, you can hear her talking to all the people. Do you can go? And she da 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 da. da. And I made it after I withdrew. After I withdrew my four hundred dollars, I made sure I walked between her and those people, and I looked her dead in the face. And I asked her, "You got anything else you want to say?" She 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 tried not to make eye contact. She was like. Anyways, anyways, you know what, um, guys like me, I don't mind conflict. I don't mind getting in an argument. 
because I can actually fight. And ladies, if you think you can talk shit to everybody you run into and nothing's going to happen to you, you're out of your fucking mind. Hundreds, at least 100 women go missing or get murdered in Juarez, which is 10 minutes from my front door every fucking month. Ladies, you want to make peace? Of course. You want to be respectful? Of course I'll be respectful. I'll wait. I'll open the door for you. I'll do all of that kind of stuff. But if you act like you're a guy and you're going to talk shit to me, bye. I just, I was, it's Friday. It's Friday. It's not even 2.30. It's like 1.45 when I get to the bank and all this shit goes on. Manager comes out and he's like, calm down, calm down. And you know, and you, <laughs> and you know, whenever somebody tells you to calm down, that, 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 that's for me, that's a, that's a button. You're pressing buttons and name this man. I can get in anybody's face. I never, uh, for me, if I raise my hands above my waist, or I start stretching out like that. <laughs> and it's just fucking hilarious. All that to say this. I completely understand why men go their own way. I completely understand the red pill community. I was very lucky to find a good traditional woman. And I just think it is hilarious when women, um, and they do it, especially they do it in public, they get loud and boisterous and they are absolutely shocked when a guy is like, fuck you. I'm not putting up with that bullshit and I'm not putting up with that fucking bullshit. I don't give a fuck who you are. So anyways, anyways, fucking liars. I got my $400, told her off, Walked back in front of her, looked at her like you got something else you want to say. She didn't even, she wasn't even trying to make eye contact with me. She was trying to fight with the customer service people behind the desk. Walked out, drove off. I just, all that to say this. Gentlemen, I am not used to that shit at all. Um, we, as men, are not guilty of anything we didn't do. I'm not guilty of anything because of the color of my skin. I'm not guilty of anything I didn't fucking do because of my race or my gender. And neither are any of you. And that includes women. That includes everybody across the spectrum. You're not guilty. I don't hold anybody guilty of anything. But if you're going to try to lay some of that shit at my feet, don't be surprised. Some of us don't play that bullshit. Anyways, um, um, actually, I'm kind of happy. <laughs> you should have seen her eyes. I was, Shut the fuck up, you fat bat. She was like, boo. She was like, boo. And she's looking around like, hey, who's going to help me? Nah. Anyway, anyway. All right. Mom. Mom. Mm -hmm. Stay safe and healthy. Take care of each other if you can, and if you can't, take care of yourself. At some point in time, you modern women, hey, you tough guys, you tough gals, we have a right to take you serious. And if you're going to talk to me like you're a badass man and you're ready to battle, then you better be ready to battle. And if you want to be treated like a man, I got no problem treating you like a man. All right? Gentlemen, stay safe and healthy. Take care of each other if you can. If you can't, take care of yourself. You are my future. And no, I'm not putting up with this fucking bullshit from any of these delusional fucking women. Love you guys. Like a fork in a G-string from West Texas, El Paso. I'm out of here. Bye-bye.